Welcome to our lecture online. Now, what we have here is a pair of capacitor plates, two metal plates. The one on the left has negative charge, the one on the right has positive charge, in such a way that we have an electric field from the positive to the negative charge with a magnitude of 300 newtons per coulomb. If we now place an electron between the plates, that electron will experience a force to the right towards the positive charge equal to the charge of the electron times the strength of the electric field. And the charge in the electron is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, and the mass of an electron is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. What we're trying to find out here is what will be the acceleration on the electron, and after 10 nanoseconds, how far will the electron have traveled between those two plates. So first, let's start with acceleration. To find the acceleration, we use Newton's second law that tells us that the force equals mass times acceleration, so the acceleration is equal to the force divided by the mass. Now, in this case, the force will be the force experienced by the electron due to the presence of the electric field, which is equal to Q times E. So in this case, it will be Q times E divided by the mass, and the charge in the electron is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, the electric field will be 300 newtons per coulomb, so the coulombs cancel out, and the mass 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. So that will give us the acceleration of the electron between those capacitor plates. I think it's going to be a very large acceleration, so 1.6 e to the 19 minus times 300 divided by 9.11 e to the 31 minus equals and yes, indeed, 5.27, so it'll be 5.27 times 10 to the 13 meters per second squared. So obviously, that's an enormous acceleration. So it won't be long before the electron has reached the other side. But let's now say that after 10 nanoseconds, that's 10, 10 times 10 to the minus 9 seconds, how far will the electron have traveled? So we know that the distance is going to be equal to one-half the acceleration times the time squared. So in this case, that's one-half times 5.27 times 10 to the 13 meters per second squared times the time of 10 times 10 to the minus 9 seconds quantity squared. So how far will the electron go? So we're going to divide that by 2 and times 10 e to the 9 minus squared equals, and that would be 2.63 times 10 to the minus 3 meters. So that would be 2.63 times 10 to the minus 3 meters, which would be 2.63 millimeters. So assuming there's enough space between the two plates, the electron will have moved 2.63 millimeters in that very short amount of time. And that's how that's done.